Hello, welcome back. This is uh, Naj Jihad, and I am Robot Genie. Uh, we just um, took an administrative tech and uh, are going to grab another um, idea. So uh, we're going to grab defensive ideas. And uh, then we are going to focus on military tech. And let's see. We're at the war with the Mamluks, and we're at war with Armenia. And we probably could have used those admin points. Um, that's alright. Because we're going to have to core these guys. Just 40. That's easy. Everybody's leaving the military coalition against us, which is pretty nice. That's a good thing. So now we can come over back over here and pick on all of India by themselves. Oh, whoa. So, yeah. We got a, um... We got a new leader. He's really good, but... My air is not. My air is pretty old too. So my air is going to become a general. Yep, my air is now a general. Get a lot of decisions there. Just snacked all of them in the configuration that'll give us the lowest piety. So we're trying to keep our piety low. And soon we will have Cairo. So like I said, I shouldn't have taken that idea so early because I need the admin points to core. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, so I think the, the Shan can just be integrated. If I had known that, I would have just... Man, I thought it... I thought they were the zoo. I thought those two were the same. And uh, yeah, I wish wish I had figured that out. Because then I wouldn't uh, have them as a diplomatic relation. I could have just annexed them. They're really low base tax. Now, do these guys? Of course, they have a truce with me. They have like a permanent truce with me. Oh no, I can do another coalition war soon. So I'm probably going to do that because the coalition's really small. Uh, well, it's not super small. I guess I'll... I don't know. I mean, I could eat some of the coalition members, though. So I should probably do that. And when can I attack Karakoin Lu again? 1651. Pretty soon kind of waiting on points to core. And when can I attack the Timurids? Wow, really soon. The 3rd of June of this month. We're definitely going to do that. Uh, we're going to spend... That decision was to spend some more money. It was to get manpower or spend some more money and get even more manpower in a province, so we got even more manpower. Yeah, we're just going to attack the Timurids and get some of these Corsan lands. Well, we're going to get a Corsani land, and we'll probably grab two of these other ones that we can sell them. Maybe we'll grab these four, and then, uh, let me grab some of these over here. Just 
this corn. Just need the admin points at this point. Huh. Yep, Champa left the military coalition. Just people are leaving the coalition. They don't care about other people over here. What's going on here? It's improving relations with the Timurids. Why am I doing that? Shouldn't be doing that. I don't care about my relations with the Timurids. Oh, the attrition's so bad around here. Wait, am I leader of this war? I am. What is... what's the war goal? What's going on here? Wait, this war's been going on forever. Wait, Ethiopia is my vassal? Oh, I inherited... I got him as a protectorate because they were a protectorate of... Okay, well, actually, I would, I would like that very much if I uh, released Ethiopia as a vassal. I want to get all of their cores, not have them as a protectorate. Yeah, leave. I don't want Ethiopia as a vessel, as a protectorate. I don't want that. I hate protectorates. They're so useless. They don't help you in wars. When they when they come of age or whatever, they don't. Ah, uh, they're allied with the Ottomans. Isn't Gujarat allied with the Timurids? They are. All right, we'll do that then. Lanan took over, and then the Timurids took over from them, so I had a separate piece, Lanan. Royal marriage from the Ottomans. So we're gonna go over here and make sure we get a good separate piece out of Lanan. Then we're gonna bring this guy down here and make sure that uh, we siege out all these guys. Or just Gujarat, really. Oh, then I can, um, I can declare war here on the rest of the coalition members and face them separately. <laughs> yep. Yeah, they're here separately now. It's just you now. Just you. I should let them win that war and just vassalize them. occupy a lot of the Timurids land, but we'll wait um, a second for that. Now, should I just annex these guys, and then, well, I could annex these guys, and then um, sell the cores back to Gujarat. I just, probably I could vassalize Gujarat. Oh, uh, well, no, not in this war, because they're lesser partner. If anything, I would vassalize these guys and then sell them provinces here. So that could happen. Oh. Not paying attention. 
attention. Not paying attention and losing armies. Sounds familiar. <laughs> Stack wiped him though. So we're gonna carpet siege these guys. Carpet siege Lanan. Hopefully, try to catch some of these Timurids. Yeah, trying to catch some of these Timurid armies. Off guard. over here. It's probably a military tech. Yeah. We uh, we want that. So now we're probably ahead of time. No, we're not. We're still not ahead of time. Uh, I'm not going to start putting points into that idea group until I'm ahead of time. It's most important to uh, to be ahead of time. I don't want to buy tech ahead of time. I just want to I want to buy it on time but then be ahead of time after I buy it. And we're not getting that. Oh, the war goal is to take Gujarat, so I should go do that soon. Lots of converting. All these heretics here should be converted soon. Timurids are just losing out to my armies here. Oh, I just, I'm pretty sure that was just a stack wipe of like a really big army. Yeah, that whole army right there just got crushed. This one won't. I wonder what their war exhaustion looks like. Let's see. That's only 2.97. It'll get worse. Lanan got really destroyed. I got their whole army in like one one fight. Wow, getting um these guys, a a Thuya something. I don't know. Probably pronounce that terribly wrong. Getting them would be really good cuz I got cores all over here. And uh and feed them back. So I think we'll try to carve our way to them. Now I can be right next to their capital because it's isolated and so I can fabricate a claim on the isolated capital province. Execute the bailiff. Minus 33 prestige. Better than one stability, though. Oh, these guys are out. How uh, many diplomatic? Oh, we have extra diplomatic relations, so we'll just vassalize them. They are a new vassal. OK, 
Can I fabricate a claim here? No. Um, I want to attack these guys <laughs> um, before these wars are over because they're going to get a bunch of um, aggressive expansion, maybe join a... Oh, but if they join in a um, coalition against me, I guess that's a good thing because then I could just do this whole war again. Yeah, I think it's actually a good thing. certainly get a lot of manpower now. 187. What's our max? 200k. So we're even close to our max. That little break that we had where we were typical annexing uh, helped the manpower recovery quite a lot. Everyone's beating up on the Timurids. Does anyone else have cores on the... Oh, Corsan all the way over here, huh? No one has cores on this, though. seems to be going pretty well. So, what we're going to do here is uh, piece out Lanon separately. They're war enthusiasms. <laughs> still, still too high for me. I need to be at low so they'll really accept. Ah, Timur just crushed one of my stacks. We will rebuild him. At some point. Not now. We had enough armies. Whoa. 24th of December, 1st of January. Let's see if we can reinforce. Yep, get the reinforced. Let's go chase. Get the war goal. A lot of nons almost fully sieged out. Could just declare no cast ability war and vassalize these guys. Why not? Because by getting those guys as a vassal, we can feed cores back in our from uh, Lanan.
Didn't really need the money anyway. Who needs money? Just, just continual wars, cause we can get a regency council at any point. Well, I don't know about that, but actually, you never really know, cause my current guy is 56 and his heir is 54. So, what <laughs> if they both die, and then you could get really unlucky and have like a one-year-old as the second in line to the throne. That wouldn't be good. Although it wouldn't surprise me either. Good. They're gone. Crushed. Crush the Timurids army. The, t the Timurids are getting split in half. Me and Kazan made a behind the uh, made a deal on what who would get what land. Uh, and yeah, so now we can vassalize these guys. You are now my vassal. Give me money. I didn't realize Chiang Mai was Lanan's capital. Chiang, not Chiang, Chiang Mai, Chiang Mai. I actually visited there. I should know that. <laughs> yeah, totally should. It's actually very, very beautiful. Very nice. Oh wow! They only have one core. Vaihaya. Really? Come on, some of these other ones had to have been cores. Or maybe were these ones taken from them? I don't know. I saw them as bigger before, so. Okay, maybe not though. Okay, so maybe that whole shenanig. All the shenanigans weren't really worth it, but. Oh yeah, they're gonna get pissed off again. Good. Don't care. Oop. Uh, yeah, you can annul your trees too. Now let's see what I can get out of this. I have no diplomat. Oh, well actually I want this province right here. So we want Corsani cores. And then maybe two that we can sell back to them. So we'll take these, these two, and then we can core some of these. And what do we want to sell to this guy? Maybe this we can sell? I mean, they're different religious groups, though. Yeah, the problem is, I think, they, they probably won't even buy the Buddhist pro pro provinces, so... Might be out of luck there. Might just have to core those. I think I will, I mean, I'll check, I'll check, but I think, uh, I think that's the deal there. And what's the deal here? Well, 
let's see. Those are also Corson. So we could either make them big now or steal some of Gujarat stuff. Well, we can probably sell some of these provinces. Yeah. So let's <laughs> let's quickly uh, create some vassals and see what happens. some more vassals actually. Oh, well, we got so many diplomats here. They'll buy that. So we'll let them core that. Cool. And then, um, Corsan will probably buy this. Or actually, I should sell them Gore, because otherwise, I think maybe they won't accept it because I. because of range or something. So now there's only 100% overextension. Not bad. And then, uh, yeah, those guys will core those things. And then uh, we can sell them each one more province. And whoa, Diplo power. Need more. Need more of that Diplo power. Let's go for the yearly army tradition plus one. Oh, yeah, we're still kind of. Well, we'll only take one of them for now. Because we already took it. Oh, whoa. And yeah, <laughs> zoning out here. Um, yeah, look at the time. It's uh, pretty late. And uh, so, yeah, if you're liking this, um, make sure to like or subscribe. And uh, have a good one.